California has just put itself at the center of the race for self-driving cars. On Thursday, a state agency gave the green light to Alphabet's Waymo and GM's crews to expand their self-driving taxi services throughout San Francisco and to operate at all hours of the day, putting them in direct competition with local companies Uber and Lyft for paid taxi rides. The California Public Utilities Commission voted on Thursday 3-1 to one in favor of the two companies, which have been offering limited services restricted by times and geographic areas. State regulators sided with the companies in the face of a contentious six-hour public hearing. Transportation and safety agencies such as the police and fire departments, as well as many residents, had opposed the idea, voicing concerns about erratic driving and interference with their operations. One day later... This is where our country's come to. <laughs> One week later. Once again, a cruise auto driving taxi is causing problems for firefighters. This time, a crash with a fire truck and with a passenger inside. Crews tweeting part of the story saying the autonomous car was hit by the truck en route to an emergency as it entered the intersection on a green light at Polk and Turk Street in the Tenderloin. It happened a little after 10 last night. San Francisco police say the truck's lights were on and sirens were sounding. The passenger was treated on scene and taken to the hospital in an ambulance. The company telling the Chronicle the passenger's injuries didn't seem severe as they were walking and talking to emergency responders before going to the hospital. Meanwhile, Yeah, the Loop is going to be a seven day a week service with an autonomous shuttle. It will operate from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily with 20 minute service. Um, it is a free, fully accessible uh, electric shuttle and it will have an attendant on board at all times. So the role of the attendant is to there, be there to monitor and take over if needed. For example, if there's an unusual event that takes place and they have to maneuver around a construction um, vehicle, which uh, we experienced today. These shuttles are built for first mile, last mile, short connectivity routes. They're not intended to take the place of bu a bus system. This is kind of a micro transit that supplements the bus system. The autonomous vehicle will have a better reaction time than a human, and it will offer a more reliable service because they won't be distracted. They are focused on their job at hand. I didn't feel unsafe. I felt like I was riding any other bus for the most part. Trained operators are, are going to be required um, even as we increase automation. And so the question there may not be how worried should someone be about losing their job versus what should they be thinking about the potential training that's required and what should they be thinking about in regards to how is that new technology implemented? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my